Hello there, today we'll be doing a graph problem. This might not seem like a, uh, a graph problem at the beginning, but it turns out to be one. Uh, let's check it out. It's called Word Ladder. This is number 141 for our uh, need code 150. So in this particular problem, what we're trying to do is go from a beginning word to the end word. And what we can do, only do is that we're going to be able to change one single character every time we move uh, to another word. So we start with hit and we end up with cog. Uh, let me pull up my notes for a moment. Okay, great. So, um, right. So with that, uh, we learned that um, it takes uh, five transformations uh, to the shortest route. That means that uh, we're doing a breath first search, um, and that means also that we need to chain these characters together in a way uh, where the edges are characters that we recognize. And how do we recognize those characters? So uh, we have three patterns, um, like with a single word, like hit. So um, we don't have three patterns. We have M patterns. Um, based on m equals the length of the word uh, per word in the word list. Um, so, which is the n equals length of word list. And I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting an O of um, n times m time. Um, so let's say hit, and for example, we, we can have three patterns. We can have a uh, hit, um, hit, and hit uh, with a star, three different patterns. So these three patterns um, signify three different um, with items, adjacency lists that we should check. And we're not gonna check the ones that we visited. So that's just uh, how we're gonna traverse through this graph. And so we can build this adjacency list and then, um, yeah, provide a good answer. Uh, a shortcut we can do here is if n word is not in word a list, we can immediately return zero. That's one thing to note that is that it's not possible. We need to return zero. And if the word's not in the list, then it's not possible. So uh, let's build this adjacency list and then um, we're gonna do a breath first search. And in this breath first search, uh, we're gonna go through each edge. Um, which is going to cost us O of N uh, based on the number of um, like number of words. Uh, basic number of words is number of edges. So it'll be O of N. And um, via a pattern of um, patterns, which is the, the pattern of um, the length of the words, which is M. Um, so it's going to be O of N times m. So let's get this. Uh, it's pretty quick uh, and easy. Adjacency list is equal to default dictionary of list and a word list. We're going to append begin word because um, we're going to just do this all at once. So rather than doing it separately. Here's the pattern. Word is going to be um, of J plus the item plus word J plus one adjacency list of pattern dot append word. So uh, with that, uh, we have built up our adjacency list. And we are ready to do our BFS. Let's start our account at one and create our visited set because um, that way we have, um, we, we don't want to revisit our old items like in any other uh, graph problem. I've, I'm looking forward to doing uh, old graph problems again and uh, getting into the same, hopefully I don't, uh, but I mean, bumping into the same problems and learning how to resolve them again. Um, trying to get it deeper into my memory so can't wait for that so for now uh, let's let's get back into this problem for range of length Q this is the way to use a Q without having to create two Q's and adding them together so this is the quick way 
um, of getting to each item in the queue and adding items to the queue without going too far. So word is equal to queue dot pop left. So that way we grab the word, and for each word, um, well, if the word is the n word, well, we can return count. Otherwise, if it's not, um, then we're going to look for the pattern. So for j in range length of word, uh, we already know what that is actually. Pattern equals word j plus word j plus 1 and empty. Right, and so with that, what happens here is that we look up every single item. So if um, for um, adjacent word in adjacency list of the pattern, for each word, adjacent word, if adjacent word in visited, we're going to continue. Else, uh, we're going to just say um, visited, add adjacent word, and we're going to add this to a queue, so we're going to access it later. And with that, we have gone through, we have we've basically added all the items to a queue, and what we need to do, uh, once we've added all the items and we finish up with all the items in the queue, we need to increase the count by one. If otherwise, if we go through the entire queue and we went through every single item and we can still we cannot get to our end item, that means that we have to return zero because we cannot get there. Let's run the code. Okay, great. Uh, looks like it passed and we have a pretty good answer. Um, and that's how we do adjacent uh, word ladder. Um, this is a pretty fun problem, isn't it? Uh, well, given that it is a um, graph problem, it's too simple, I would say. I mean, some of the medium problems are more difficult for me, I would say. So let's, uh, that was, I think, a good problem, and we learned a little bit here. And I think there's more to learn uh, when, when time comes. Um, so let's do more next time. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you want more videos, check the link in the description below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.